Hello and welcome back to our Call Let's Play with me and Monsters Abound. Hi, the power couple of Total War. Hello. We've decided. Yes, we have. Yeah, you uh, you kind of claimed that and uh, that is what we are now. I've claimed it and uh, no one's disputed it as of yet. So uh, <laughs> I think <laughs> that makes it. A chance, yeah, but, uh, no, well, right. fuck them. If, they, if, they, if they're not going to dispute it already, then, you know, I'm going to call it for us and uh, it's done. So I like that. I like that uh, idea. Yeah, much like this campaign might be at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> well, we uh, yeah we were discussing that we may we may have a solution, which is what we actually were talking about during last the last video. It, it might be fine though. Now. It might be fine. So yeah, you might be able to reach anyway. But yeah. I think it's still yeah. it's still good for you to be able to have more stuff to do. So I am going to give you an army. Holy shit! I'm just one. I'm wondering if I can give you a general too. I kind of want to test that. The, the problem is I've only got 504 income, um, or rather 504 money in the bank and 131 a turn. So any more units is going to literally bankrupt me in a turn. Yeah, I'll, ha I'll have to send some money with it if I do this. I can give you a general as well, by the way. You do have a lot of generals, though, so I think I'm not going to do that. Let let's let's see if I can reach my town first, and if I can, like, fend off the Honmar. We should be okay. Well, that's the thing, because if you, if you can't... I have to do it this turn, otherwise it's too late. Because the, when I give you the army, you won't be able to control it the same turn. Oh, I turn. see. So it'll have to... There's another turn, basically, that it takes for you be, for, before you can oh, really do shit. anything with it. Yeah, so it has to be now or never. But um, what I could do is I give it to you, give you a bunch of money so you can afford it. And then if it looks like you can reach your town next turn, you can give it back instantly so you don't even have to pay for it. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> alternatively, um, you can just keep it and just take a town with it. And then, you know, just kind of have your I'll... own expansion around here as well. So you have more stuff to do. Maybe I'll have fun. enough money to actually, if I take it on town, I might have enough money to actually afford another army. See, there you go. That's, That's the now, dream. Now we're talking. All right, let me just um, let's see. What can I do here exactly? Because I, I mean, to keep some units behind to keep this place happy as it'll, well. It'll also mean that probably everyone else declares war on me because I'll suddenly be boring a bunch of new people who will look at me like <laughs> I'm lick their lips, fresh meat. Yeah, that's uh, certainly a possibility. Um, all right, let me see. So this would be eighty-three a pop. So that's about four hundred, five hundred. Okay, so. I'll do one more unit. That way, yeah. Six infantry, three archers. That should be enough to take that. No problem. Move that to the border. All right, I'll give that to you. Tell me what your income is like now. Uh, it's still currently 131 a turn. I've cancelled my Nodachi Samurai thing because that will give me a lot more money. So I now have. So it, it doesn't look like it's actually costing me anything. It doesn't update, I guess, right away. No. Okay, well, I'm still going to send you... Actually, you can ask money next turn if you need it. So I've, I guess got, I've got 2,500 in the bank now, so that's a bit better. Okay. That should right, be fine. I'll be able to afford it for sure. Yeah. Oh, where did the... I, I can now use my agents to sabotage your army. <laughs> uh, oh, never mind. It says you cannot perform this action on another player in a cooperative campaign. Never mind. Oh, yeah, say, it would be cooperative otherwise, would it? <laughs> guess I won't target you then. Fine. Shame. Um, right, let's see what I can do. I need to recruit more units because I need happiness. Um, yeah, actually, let's get one more boy. Should go over here. I need to re. Ooh, yeah, I need to add more units because I just gave away a bunch of them. Uh, this army in Sagami. I will keep that Naganata Jojo. I'm going to send this army through. Could they then go past me and take Sagami? Eh, whatever. If they do, so be it. Um, what is that army anyway? The Hojo army, we've got a couple of Yari Cav, Light Cav, Naganata Samurai, Yari Samurai. Oh, it's not a terrible army. Alright, uh, let's have these guys follow. I'll have another couple Cav, please. How is Kai doing in terms of happiness? Minus one. Okay, so that place is fine. Kaga is gonna rebel, but is it really? Yes, it is. I can't keep that happy. Okay, I have to exempt this place from tax as well. Oh, I have a monk on the way. Can he reach? No, not yet. Ninja, let's send you down this way. Look at all this stuff you've got to do. You've actually like, know. got stuff. To be honest, I, th I find like Total War's games, the, the, the more stuff I have to do, the less interest I get. <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh, so much paperwork to do. That's why Shogun 2 is so good, because it's, it's just only... Um... I don't want that. It's uh, it's such a short campaign, so you're you're done pretty quickly, and then you I guess can that is on. true. Yeah. 
Alright, let's pop you. Actually, you're pretty good at sabotaging. 26%. Oh, that's the wrong one. You're pretty good at sabotaging. 71% chance. Um, you know what? Actually, they might. If they leave the town, and then I take them out. Uh, I, they might be able to reach Kai in one turn. Let's just sabotage them. Alright, cool. And a level up. Sweet. I'll have that. Did I have an agent at one point? I feel like I did. What happened to him? Maybe died. Massacred. Maybe I never had one. I genuinely can't remember anymore. Me neither, honestly. Uh, oh, I can get Metsuke. Oh, right, yeah, I need to wait until this. Okay, two turns from now, I'm going to recruit my first Metsuke and I'll start making even more money. Uh, right, so units recruited here, here. Okay, I need to get one here as well. I need to make sure I deal with Atakiyama, who have now weirdly declared war on me. Oi, what's that all about? What is that all about? Jeez, that's... Uh, okay. Right, well, let's end the turn. And we can get to the excitement of your turn. Yeah, it's going to be the first turn I've had that's going to be thrilling. Sea route raided. I mean, yeah, I know, I know, I know that. Okay, when so is only... it not? Oh, shit, it's going to take me three... I can, I can probably get in range of my city next turn. So I think right. I'll probably be okay. Because then I can reinforce it, so it should be fine. Right. If yeah. I if I attack this, oh, I can't attack this. In. Okay, I can attack. No, oh, I can't move him. Okay. Well, I mean, it, it, it potentially was an exciting turn, but it's not going to be an exciting turn this turn. So yeah, it's going to yeah. be. That's what I mean. You'll be able to move him next turn. It's going to be an the exciting turn is... next turn. It, weirdly, though, because I, I didn't really think about this, I put them, <laughs> I put them in the in the influence zone of the Ikuiki there, which means that. You have to attack them before you can even move any further because, like, you're in their zone and you're at war with them, of course. I'm all up in their shit, which is fine because that's where I want to be. All up in their shiz. They're still sending that army over, though. They're that's really determined. Right. They'll be dead before they ever get a chance. You'll die before your stroke fell. We can, but hope. But I think I think I should be able to reach my my city. Why did, why did I pick the guys the biggest fucking province? What was I thinking? Well, you want a big fucking sword. Yeah, but if if and I yeah. you know in my head I realised I had a big fucking province, but had I realised how big it was, you know, there's there's such a thing as too big, and I think that's too big. It's that's just said. It's, it, that yeah, exactly. It's too big. It's too big a sword. It's too big a province. It's too. It's just too big. I have a rebellion which I didn't realise. That's incredibly annoying. Five units I have to deal with. Right? Can I sabotage them? Might be more important now, actually. Good. All right. Right. So I think I'm gonna take uh, the Hojo town, mm. and then they'll just be rebels, and they can come and attack me if they want. Oh, the puppy has finished the food I've given him. Oh no, he is going to be annoying. <laughs> anyway, I'll put him on my lap in a minute. The joys, the joys of puppyhood. All right. That's. Peacefully occupying that place. Oh, I am now acclaimed. We're actually getting relatively close to triggering Realm Divide, so we've got to be careful of that. <laughs> Would be a bit sad I mean, to trigger Realm Divide if you're st still sitting on one town over there. It's fine. I mean, to be fair, they have to go through you to get to me, so... I mean, theoretically, anyway. That's true. Although, yeah, the entire world would declare war, so you, you'll yeah. be at war. And I can just see the, the, well. the entirety of Japan emptying into their fleets to sail around the coast just to reach me, leaving you completely free to take the rest of it. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put it past them. All right. So I have another cab units, but I think I'll hold off on moving him. I could just attack them in the field. I think that might be even better just to deal with them right now. So we'll have that battle in a minute. What else can I do? Uh, I could sabotage the Iko Iki forces just to help you out a little bit. But they're probably in the way anyway, so you have to probably go through them. Oh, I guess they wouldn't be able to reinforce. Right, let me try and sabotage the small force here. Oh, I failed. Wait, I have another ninja. I'm going to try it again. Go on. Do it. Ninja. <laughs> right, well, that didn't work. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not unless he did so well he's having a nap. <laughs> Look, I tried. I figured I could make it a little bit easier for you, but uh, oh well. Stop, puppy. That's not yours. That's my chair. Or is it? Um, yeah, not anymore. <laughs> right, let's grab... Gather this force in Kaga. 
for the inevitable I attack mean, by you, Yatakiyama. You could take Sado now, because there's no one there. It's literally defenseless. That's true. Because they're throwing everything yeah. they've got at me. So you could literally just sail up to him and take it and have a lovely gold mine. Yeah, let me recruit a couple units here. <laughs> so now point out, oh, gold mine! <laughs> Free real estate! two units are gonna go nah let's keep them there wanna recruit an archer let's start recruiting some bow samurai here lovely stuff and I'll have another light cavalry just the one I'll send this guy over this way too uh, next turn I can recruit Metsuke so yeah we got a battle what else I recruit any buildings or build any buildings you don't recruit buildings do you I mean, not traditionally, enough. no, but... Uh, see, this is annoying. I, I have two places... Well, not annoying. I, it's a first of all problems. I have two places that have a, uh, a blacksmith, and I don't know which one to use. Oh, nightmare. I know, it's unbelievable. Can you imagine the problems I have? I mean, I've right. got 50% of that, so... Yeah? And you only have one town, so who's the real winner here? Quite. But I don't. I didn't want to rub it in your face in it, to be honest. That's right. I appreciate that. No, that's right. All right, we have Hojo rebels who, for some reason, have the Chosakabe symbol. Let me just attack so you can see what's going on here. Oh yeah, so they do. No wonder they're rebels. Indeed. Confused, confused rebels. So yeah, should be a pretty straightforward battle. Let's see if they have any tree heels to uh, defend themselves on. I was looking at that and expecting something to happen, but of course I had to click the button before something did happen. So <laughs> that's yeah, it's one of those weird things at Shogun Two where the other person doesn't you like you wouldn't see anything until I press play battle, at which point you then also get thrown into that little screen, and then you have to choose and what then you want to do. I have to pick. I have to make my choice of one option. Spectate. What a choice, indeed. All right, well, we are attacking, but I'm going to go ahead and take this lovely treed hill here. What the hell's going on with that that mountain? It's got a weird line all over it. Can you see that, or is it just me? Uh, where are we looking? Which like the mountain? big, big icy snow-covered mountain. Oh, it looks yeah. like it's got a weird line. That is weird, isn't it? It is weird. Fucking literally unplayable. Um, why, why is sugar to a thing? <laughs> One CA. CA? Fuck it. God. I do like the little town they've got here. I really yeah. like looking at the little details in maps and just. And just seeing the two maps really are solid. Yeah. Yeah, they, re they really do hold up, don't they? Yeah, they do. Shogun 2 in general holds up so well. But that's, you know, coming from the guy who loves Shogun 2 so much. That, that, was, that was to be expected then, really. There's plenty of treed hills yeah. around, though, isn't there? Absolutely. Right, I'm gonna give you. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna give you the archers, and Ooh. I'll also I'll give you this guy, and I'll give you. Let's see. I do love my shooty boys. Right. So the four units of uh, Yari Ashigara that I gave you are on the flanks on the back row. So basically, yeah, just use them to kind of protect the flanks with, if you will. We will have to attack them, but uh, I guess they're gonna take that hill, or maybe they're coming towards me. Looks like they certainly are coming towards me, actually. I was going to say, because otherwise I'll just uh, we'll shoot them until they give up. Makes sense. Right, let's uh, spread ourselves out over this treed hill here. Feels weird only having a general and just a line of Ashigaru. Right, where did you go off to, puppy? Oh, he's there. <laughs> It's always it's always worrying when it's when it's quiet, isn't it? Yeah, no, yeah. I need to get used to that with the baby as well. Oh god, so, yeah. I mean, it would be fine to start off with, but then when yes, they get yeah. to like, you know, there, there was a point where my squidge was was quiet, and uh, I was like, I don't know what what is he up to. Went up there and uh, he'd found a bag of tea bags, and was in the process of ripping. The, he was taking them out of the box, ripping them up, and then emptying the tea all over the floor. And was then using that to jump over. I don't quite right. understand the logic of why he needed loose tea on the floor to jump over it, but apparently that was. He well, you was being set a goal for yourself. 
He was being quite neat because all the tea was in one pile and he put all the empty tea bags in another pile. But still, ultimately, the it, it was it was not ideal. He's that, a proper Englishman. He's just like he's seeing the the many ways to use tea in life. I I, I guess there is that, you know. But realistically, the, the best way is to actually have a you know make a cup of tea. That's yeah. That's what I I would do. Hey, but... Pico, <laughs> destroying something in the background. Yeah, you. I don't think the I I don't think my mic lit up on the Discord, but I'm pretty sure in the video people have heard that. Yeah, they they would have. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> If I'm not moving my camera around, it's because I'm keeping him busy with my mouse, with my hands instead of on the mouse. That's fair. Got to keep right. him. Got to keep him occupied. Uh, exactly. Yeah. All right. I'll move forward in front of your men. Play with your own toys. Oh, you got some one, cavalry coming. Oh shit, cavalry! Hold on. Uh, that's well. That's what I hired you for to protect those flanks. Yeah, don't worry. I got I got these all over these flanks. In fact, there's no one on this flank, so I'm gonna flank them. Yeah, I did forget to put my men in uh, Yarry Wall because I didn't see the. Uh... That was the cavalry you were talking about. I'm gonna try and pull my guys out of there, put them in Yarry Wall, and then put them back in. Come on. There we go. Got that one in Yarry Wall. Where are you guys going? We're being like hella shot by that archer over there. Oh, I see your flank on the left side going. Very good. Oh yeah. no, firebomb first. Oh, careful! You're gonna get hit in the flank by. Oh yeah. General, by unit. A general. <laughs> Don't you understand? You're attacking a Yari, Ashigaru, You fool. Oh no, he's got something he's not allowed to have. <laughs> Boy, come here. Are they going to charge directly into it? Yeah, okay, fair enough. I mean, that worked out for you, I guess? I'm completely relying oh, on you at this point. Oh, fuck! Oh no, okay, I'm not going to look at that, it's fine. I'll be alright. <laughs> if I can't see it, it's not happening. I think that's right. Yeah. It's alright. We're in some... Well, we're definitely winning. Okay, that cavalry got its ass kicked anyway, so... Yay me. You did it. You kicked ass. I did it. I did it, Mum. Uh, a little bit flanked over there, dealing with the archers. That's fine. Let's do a little quick concentrated fire over there. You guys are still in Yari Wall. Stop being in Yari Wall, useless bastards. There you go. Get a fucking get a fucking move on. My lord! A glorious victory will soon be yours! Of course it will. My audience is gonna keep hearing me use squeaky toys. <laughs> that won't pop up on the Discord, luckily. But <laughs> yeah, my audience will have to deal with that. I'm sorry. I mean, is, is this not really, you know, playing Shogun 2 in hard mode with a puppy to deal with at the same time? That's true, yeah. We're, we're not playing on Legendary, so we have to give ourselves another the challenge, challenge mode. Yeah. Wait, what's... Oh, there's a general back there. Oh, yeah. He's just chilling. What the heck? He's just chilling on his horse. He's just hanging out. Probably don't doom scrolling through Reddit or something. It's like, wait, there's a battle going on. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck! I wasn't told about this. My supervisor's going to be so angry with me. Oh, now he's now he's feeling sad. And off he goes. Poppy is now on my lap, which might make playing more difficult, but at least he won't be messing around too That's much. fine, because you're finding the game too easy. So, if anything, this is... <laughs> this is better, right? I sure hope so. <laughs> Say hello to the viewers, Pito. not saying it. He's not very talkative. Bless him. Biting my arm though. No, he's, he's trying to he's trying to work out how he can eat your wires or something. You should put your kill on your lap at the same time, then we both have a challenge. 
Well, the thing is, he'd be like grabbing the microphone. Because whenever he sees it, he wants to talk into it. Yeah, my dog currently has the same thing, except he wants if he sees it, he wants to bite it. That's pretty close. Yeah. I imagine that it'll probably be more destructive than my child, though. Probably. Alright, didn't manage to get back in the army, but that's the Hojo dealt with, so... That's nice. one less threat to worry about. One less threat for me. Although they did peace out with me, so... Oh, they weren't well, actually a threat. At least they won't attack you again in the future. I mean, that is true. Unlike your Always. vassals, who are, obviously, <laughs> currently trying to kill me. Well, two of them. But one of them you're about to take out. In fact, let me end my... Let me just quickly check if I have any more unhappy towns. Oh, someone wants to trade with me. Fine, we'll do that first. What a just chore. A what a chore. Oh, they only want to pay me at least three grand. Oh, what a... There we go. You son of a bitch. Three and a half, perhaps. Okay, fine. I'll just take the three and a half because I can't pipe with my <laughs> one hand. <laughs> Uh, Alright, cool. So, that gives me a lot. Oh, God. I've got a bunch more money to spend now. Jeez. This is difficult. First of all, problems. Yeah, for sure. Alright, let's just upgrade any average soil farms if I have any. Stop biting me. Obviously, he realizes that you've been you've been having an easy time. And he's, he's here to try and... Yeah, while well, he's succeeding. Yeah, I mean, that's that's good, though. What a good boy. Uh, oh, right, I was... Yes, yeah, I've already done that. I was going to say, I'll queue up units in... Uh, no, he's got them... <laughs> my headset cable. Um, yeah, I'm queuing up units in the Chigo, and I'm going to build a ship as well, so I can, um, I can go take Sado. Right, let's end my turn, so we can watch you do some exciting things. Holy shit. Right, first... Let's get down to my city. Just stand outside there. Uh, hopefully I can reinforce. Fingers crossed. And yeah, then we can be... attack you. You're going to run away, which is fine. You're going to run away as well, which is also fine. I'm just going to also resolve that. Bish bosh bash. And peacefully occupy. I've got a second down! Yeah, boy! Yeah, boy. All by this. yourself. Yeah, all by myself. Good oh, job. By myself. Uh, right, repair that. Good. And we've got an archery dojo. Oh, that's fine. What's your income like now? Uh, minus 309, so... Oh, it could be worse. It could, it, it, yes, yes, it could be worse, it's true. Um, I'll be fine for a few turns, so there is that. I don't think there's anything else I can redo, so... So there we go. Oh, oh, I've, got an, exciting. I've got an achievement. What have you achieved? I've achieved eradicating the Ikariki. Ah, that is a worthwhile achievement. Ah. Is the authority declaring war on you? Yeah, they are, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you, come on, you knew it was going to happen. I, I instantly boarded them, and they were just going to lose their shit. And They have, like, two cool stacks as well. So yeah. don't pull me in. I will help you out, but don't pull me in. I'll just attack don't, them from the rear. Don't pull you in. Okay. Hang on. No. I'm trying to un there we go. I've, un I've unclicked the box. They'll probably try and I bet they were trying to pizza out with you anyway. That's yeah. But then I'd I wouldn't be able to attack them anymore. If I accepted. Which I guess I wouldn't do. But yeah, I'll um I wanna get in position. I should be able to attack them not next turn, but a turn after. That makes sense. And immediately start taking their towns from behind, which will once again benefit me and not you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but we'll, I'll just feed you another tower, another army again somewhere this, else. This reminds me a lot time. of playing Thrones of Britannia, to be honest. I think we were talking about how I always had that experience where, like, if you're allied with someone and someone declared war on them, then the enemy would throw everything they had at you, the player, leaving their settlements undefended. Your ally would then just walk into them. Yeah. Oh, hello there. Why, hello there. Hello there. I mean, at least he's attacking me, so that's fine. Yeah, not the time. Is this worth fighting? Uh, I th yeah, yeah. Let's, let's let's fight this one. Oh yeah, that's let's fight bad. him. He doesn't have any. Oh, he does have bow. Ashigaru, not Ashigaru. Yeah, samurai. samurai that's the yeah. one. The good ones. Oh, it's almost a bridge battle. Oh, but yeah. 
Although, aren't, isn't my back to the bridge and now the, they're back to the... Uh, the map's the wrong way around, but that's fine. Yes, yeah, you're right. It's fine. A Good. common occurrence in this game. <laughs> in many Total War games. CA! God damn it! Literally unplayable. Okay. I'm going to give you... I, I'm just going to give you all of the the melee infantry. You can have all of them. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of stuff. Yeah. Alright. Uh, right, so we are defending. I would suggest there is a gigantic oh, that is <laughs> this hill in the corner of the map. This mighty treat hill. Is in, yeah, that is the that is the mightiest of treat hills. It is if indeed. If we just sit on top of that, they'll have to come up and we just like, yeah, there's just no way they can do anything. So we're gonna. For a fun battle. We're just gonna book it up to the top of the hill and just sit there. Yeah, basically like up to around here, and then we just put them in Yari Wall, and then just works for me. You can go throw tea bags on the floor and jump over them. That's what I'll do. Everyone, okay. That's uh oh Honma, you've really dicked yourself over. <laughs> you. How, how is your Honma campaign going, by the way? As it is, it's going. It's going. It's going, yeah, it's, it's doing alright. Uh, six episodes in. It's actually not super easy, but I, I decided to challenge myself a little bit by going for taking out the Ikawiki, for eradicating the Ikawiki. Um, instead of just taking the safe path and, and taking the Date lands and then kind of working my way down from there. I yeah. was like, I'll throw myself in right in the middle of Japan, take out the people with the annoying religion first, and then just kind of go from there. Makes sense. And it's um, it's not easy, but it's pretty fun. What will they do? What will they decide to do? Will they just march up and die? Sounds like it, to be honest. Yeah, probably, to be honest. Yeah, okay, let's, let's, let's slow it down. Right, well, I'm in Yariwal, so at this point, we literally can stop moving the mouse around. Just watch the carnage. Yeah, exactly. Victory is inevitable. It's a completely inexperienced army as well, basically. So yeah. I'm just going to run it so quickly. It's my elite defense boys. Yeah, and we've got Katana Samurai backing up the uh, Yaris as well. Fought many a defensive battle out of necessity. <laughs> the most experienced defensive battle general in this whole world. I still actually haven't fought that many battles because. I've mostly just been fending off attacks in my massive, ridiculously sized province. I swear, it take me about four turns to reach anyone else. Yeah, it's not good. I think next time, if we do another campaign, at, at some point in the future, I'll show it to you, you'll probably choose someone else, I imagine. Yeah, pro pro like whoever's got the smallest province, I'll pick them. <laughs> Well, the Shimazu can reach the enemy in a single turn. So there we go. That's what I'll, I'll be. Those I'll be the sword boys. I think that's the only, the only campaign of Shogun I've completed is Shimazu. Ah, oh, well, they are uh, they're a solid clan. I mean, the the sword samurai are pretty much some of the best basic infantry you can have, aren't they? Yeah, it's the bread and butter of the game. It's it's weird as well, because, like, historically, the katana was more like a sidearm than something that they used on the battlefield. The Yari and Naginata were a lot more common. But in-game, it's just, like, the most balanced overall good units that will work in every situation. They're not, like, they don't have, they don't have any anti-cav but um, capabilities, but they're still good against cav because just they're just very solid in general. I like how the generals charged into the uh, Yaris, yeah, into well, the old melee. It is basically a corner camp because I'm up to the wall, so there's not really anything they can do about it. Let's get the samurai to help out a little bit. Get all up in there now, samurai boys. Let's see if we can flank with the old, the old cavalry. Take out cavalry. some of those bow samurai. Yeah, I'll... Because uh, they're probably doing a lot of damage, actually. Take these guys over here as well. Get in the back, give it a little charge. Yes! Yeah, 
I think we've got some insta routes if I send them in there. My favorite type of route, the insta route. The insta route. Actually, my favorite type of route would probably be the mass route. That is a classic so route. Yes, so many different types of routes. Which route will you take? Oh. Our general is in he's grave, in grave he's danger, my lord. Fine. No, no, he's in grave danger. No, he's you gotta not. That man. He's all right. He's so convincing, though. I swear the way to God. he yells at you. If he stepped on Lego. <laughs> general is in grave danger. He's hopping around. Oh, right in the heel. Probably should stop firing. Wait, well, I don't want to kill your own general. I mean, it, it wouldn't be a desirable outcome. I've done that once. I had a um, Dunderbus Cav, the, the shotgun cavalry from uh, Otomo. And uh, the battle was already over. I was just cleaning up the, the stragglers, basically. Everyone's routed already. And then my general moved in front of a full volley from the Dunderbus Cav. And, actually killed him. It actually ruined my entire campaign, because it was my daimyo, not just a regular general. Ooh. And, um, like, his son and heir took over, and he only had, like, two... Oh, that's an easy out of off. Yeah. He only had, like, two honor, so everyone was disloyal instantly, and then everyone betrayed me, so the whole campaign ended because of that one mistake. Ooh. It was not, not a good time. Ooh, nasty. That's, yeah. that's a bad time. Fit for commands. Oh, no, I'm fine, thanks. That's, I would take that, because it's a, it's a general way to lead your actual That's part. a good point, but I've already clicked no, so... Yeah. Uh... <laughs> rip on that one. Yep, rip. There we go, Iko Iki dead. Good. Now, there's a lot of Hattori forces. There, there are one or two Hattori forces, yep. Hmm. Well, it is what it is. Uh, right, well, I... We'll say that we should probably cut this episode a little bit short so I can... Deal with puppy. Destroy the puppy, yes. <laughs> oh, what happened to the... Oh my goodness. The... There was a, um, a rebel force in Saruga. There was. I did see it. It's gone. Which is gone now, yeah. I don't know if it's hidden in the forest somehow. It snuck or... away. I don't know what happened. Well, we'll have to see. Anyway, yeah, let's uh, let's end the episode here. It'll be a bit Good of a place to end it. Yeah. At least you own two towers now. And Yes. You know, I mean, briefly, if the Hattori have got anything to do with it, but still. This episode will be called Two Town Date. It's, you know, it's a 100% it's increase in towns, which, not bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. Doubling your towns yeah. in a single turn. That's exactly. crazy. Exactly. Always All under my own episode. steam as well. No help. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You, you said, you know, people offered you help. You're like, no, no, I got to do this by myself. Yeah. I have to show the masses that I have I to pull I myself up by my own bootstraps. That's exactly. And I've done that. So I admire that about you. Thanks. Very admirable. I admire that anyway. about me as well. <laughs> I am the most humble man I know, actually. Um, so, yes, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, Freetown Date? Find out. Let's, let's, let's not go with Bourne. <laughs>